Hey guys, thanks for watching. I fear that this video is going to be really long because today I have a front porch candle company haul to show you and I have a whole bunch of these grubby tarts. They look like this. They're small. Um, I want to give you my first impression on all of them. I got a sampler pack that has eight. Um, I bought a pack of six of something and the rest are just individual ones. Um, but I just fear that these are going to be really hard to get out of the bag and crinkly and annoying and so I'm just going to prep you. This is going to be a long video if you don't want to watch it I completely understand. But for those of you who do want to watch, stick around. Sorry I'm in my scrubs. Um, and let's get going. I ordered from Front Porch. They had like a 10% off discount. I can't remember why. I got free shipping, I believe, because I ordered over $50. I ordered, yeah, $51.25, so just right over $50. Bucks. And then because I think when you order over $50, you get four free surprise grubby tarts, so I'll go through them first. They're not labeled, so I have no idea what they are, and they're actually layered wait for my camera to focus. I don't know if you can see, but there's definitely a few scents in there. And same with this. And this is probably the easiest. These are probably the easiest ones to see. The fact that they're like multiple colors. So, um, I think I'm probably going to melt first because I think it'll be fun. A little surprise. Um, I'm going to try and take this out. I, these are going to be really hard to explain. Um, I've never ordered from this company before, so uh, so I won't know how to explain something. Okay, so the bottom of this smells like um, a bonfire scent. And the top kind of smells like... um. Oh jeez, I don't know. Strawberry pancakes? I have no idea. These are, um, this is what they look like. They're little grubby tarts. Um, really cute. I'd say this is more like, yeah, that's definitely like a bonfire scent on the bottom. Um, it wasn't too bad to take out, but I'm afraid with all of these it's going to be really hard. So, um, I should probably not spend too much time on these mystery ones. Okay, this smells citrusy, citrusy lemon. I can't tell what's on the bottom. It smells like soapy on the bottom, so that one's going to be like a fresh, clean scent. Um, kind of like a, a pine salt lemon type, fresh, zesty lemon. This next one, sorry for the crinkling. Ooh, I don't like watching videos where all I hear is like crinkling. It, ugh, it's like nails on a chalkboard to me. Okay. This smells like soap. I have no idea what kind of soap. A really popular soap. And the bottom smells like lemon cookie. That's what I get from that one. All of these smell pretty good so far. These mystery ones. Isn't that nice to get like mystery ones for spending uh, 50 bucks? I mean, they're super cute. Just pop that right in there. Ooh. I don't know what that is, but it kind of reminds me of a Bath and Body Works scent, like pink chiffon. Maybe not pink chiffon. Something. This is probably my favorite one of those. It's the lightest one, though, too. Uh, hmm. Uh, well, I, I can't... <laughs> I like it. It's, there's no point in me trying to describe it more since I don't know what it's called. Um, and it's also multiple scents mixed together, so that's that. Sorry if I look gross, you guys. I'm just, uh, I really want to, I really want to get these videos, um, filmed for you. Get them out there. Okay, so I'm going to move on to my tea sampler. It's a bunch of tea scents, and there's eight of them. And the first one is raspberry cream tea. I'm not going to, like, do this and show you the label. You'll just, you just hear me. It's raspberry cream tea. Raspberry cream tea, and it's like a red scent. I don't think this one is online right now anymore. I think she just makes them, sells out the sampler packs, and that's it. Or, not she, but the company. Okay. 
What is this? Raspberry cream tea? This is definitely raspberry cream. Not a whole lot of tea. It's also not just raspberry cream. It's more raspberry than raspberry cream, but there's definitely a little bit of cream in there. I'm gonna, um, yeah, I'm gonna just, uh, shoot. Toss these aside. Okay, next one is sweet lavender tea. I feel like I should just pause and take these all out. This one smells like tea and lavender. This is nice. Yeah, that one's nice. That one has a little bit of a tea scent and lavender. Maybe it's just that the lavender smells like tea. No, 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 it smells like tea. Never mind. It does smell like tea. Tea and sugar cookies. I don't know why I was just into tea. They had a, a bunch of different sampler packs, and I just, the tea one intrigued me the most. Tea and sugar cookies. Lemon. Like uh, light lemon tea. It smells like a very mild tea, like a lemon zinger tea, not a strong tea scent. And it does smell like it more, or more smells like lemon sugar cookies with like a little bit of a tea aspect to it. Um, all of these smell really good so far, so I'm just gonna tell you guys if I smell one that I don't like, okay? Because I'm pretty sure I'm gonna like all of these since. I feel like I've, I've liked them all so far. Next one is honey sweet tea. Oh yeah. This is nice. This smells like sweet tea with a little bit of honey. It's not really strong on the tea scent. Um, but it smells like sweet something and honey. Like, you know. It kind of also smells like a soap that I've smelled before. Iced tea with lemon. Shimmy it all the way down. Whoa! Mm -hmm. This is like whew, really strong. This is like um, a little bit cleaner lemon to me. I don't, I don't smell. This is like straight, really strong, zesty, fresh squeezed lemon. Um, I don't smell a lot of tea in this one at all. No, not really any tea. It's just like um, this would be a really good one to melt on a day where you're cleaning. It'll smell like. Pine saw. Chamomile tea. Ooh. I wouldn't know really what chamomile would smell like. Until I smell this and it smells familiar. So it must be classic chamomile scent. This smells, yeah, like I would imagine like a chamomile tea lotion or like shower gel or some kind of body care would smell like. Herbally. Yeah, that's nice. These are good so far, you guys. I'm impressed. Okay, peach tea. Oh, I don't know why I showed you that. I'm taking up too much time already. Peach tea. You're just going to see the color of them as I... Ooh! Hmm. You're going to see the color of them as I just smell them. Sorry. Yeah. Uh, I don't... It's not like a... None of these have like a really strong tea scent. But there's something about it when you smell them, you kind of feel like you're smelling like a flavored tea, if that makes sense. There's, I don't know, if, I don't, I don't know, I don't know what they do to it to make it tea scented, but yeah, this smells like peach tea. 
whether that's like Snapple or if it's hot or cold or whatever, that one, that one, that one smells good. Yum, yum, yum. Tea and cake. Could you imagine? It just smelled like pink petal tea cake. It wouldn't. The warning is it doesn't say it has any floral to it. And there's no real tea, I don't think, in pink petal tea cake. This one's big. Mmm. Yeah. I was gonna say, oh, this one smells like cake. Duh. Yeah, it has like this tea note to it. And the cake, it almost smells marshmallowy. I think I'm really gonna like a lot of these because I have like marshmallow and cake scents. Whatever they use in that to do the cake is really nice. It's, yeah, that's really nice. Wow. Okay, I'm really happy so far. I don't know how Ava's country Ava's country cupboard is going to top this. All right, now I'm going to move on to the regular ones that I ordered, the individual grubby tarts. I'll show you the six pack that I got. I love bubble gum scents, so I got I got a six pack in the double bubble. I will show you how it comes. And I don't know how I would compare this to Candles by Victoria's bubble gum because it does smell different. But this does smell like bubblegum. I don't know what it is, why I love the scent of bubblegum in a candle form. I think it's because Bath & Body Works came out with that um, pink bubblegum scent. And they only came out with it in the minis. And I was like hoping they would come out with it in like the medium jars, the large jars. And they, I would find one. And I never did. And I never got one of the minis. So um, I just love the idea of bubblegum. And cotton candy. Yeah, this smells like bubblegum. Original. Um... Double bubble, I I can't remember exactly how I described um, Candles by Victoria's bubble gum, but this one, it smells like bubble gum, but it, it kind of has like a juicy fruit scent to it. Like if someone advertises as juicy fruit, I would think it smelled like juicy fruit. So it's definitely like a gum scent, like a bubble gum scent. I'm glad I got that in a six pack because I really like it. Okay. This is what kids love. And shoot. I should have looked up the scent description of this. I think it's like a couple different things mixed together. Like cotton candy, bubble gum, and something. You'll have to look on the website because I'm really sorry I didn't do my research. This is called what kids love. Mmm. Shit, now I want to know what's in it. This smells really good. What the hell's in this? It smells like I could eat it. I almost like want to take a bite of it. Okay, well, I'm going to have to look online because I have no idea. But that smells good enough to eat. It smells awesome. Whatever what kids love is... That's what Christy loves. Alright, next one is watermelon lemonade pink... No. Ugh, uh, watermelon lemonade bubble gum. I'm so tired, you guys. Uh, today was my sixth day in a row working, and I just want to just sleep for 24 hours straight. Okay. This smells like um, strawberry lemonade or watermelon lemonade, um, mostly lemonade. It's like it's like a little bit more than lemonade. It has like a like a strawberry or or watermelon scent. It smells just like one that I got from the Smell Goods Company, whatever watermelon that one that was. That's what this smells like. So I'm assuming that they probably used the same scents to make this. It doesn't smell like bubble gum though. Just making sure it had bubble gum in it. It doesn't smell like, didn't, isn't like bubblicious. Didn't they have like a watermelon lemonade bubble gum scent? 
That's kind of what this smells like, but it's missing the bubblegum scent. It just smells like watermelon lemonade or um, strawberry lemonade. Mostly with the lemon, just a little bit of something extra that makes it not just lemonade scent. Um, but the one that I got from Smell Goods, like, was the strongest wax melt I've ever used. It was like a karate chop through the air of scent. I don't know. That didn't make any sense whatsoever. But, like, it found me wherever I was in my house. It was incredibly strong. I liked it. It's just really strong. Um, next one is Strawberry Pink Velvet Sugar. Like, don't even like the own, my, the sound of my own bag crinkling. What is this one? Strawberry pink velvet sugar. Okay. This kind of smells like, okay, what that mystery one was. One of the mystery ones. I kind of know, it must be pink velvet. Or, I mean, velvet sugar. It must be velvet sugar. Because there's velvet sugar that I think is supposed to be like Bath and Body Works dupe. That must be in that mystery one in this one. Obviously, it says velvet sugar in the title. Strawberry pink velvet sugar. Or maybe it's the pink pink sugar scent. It smells like strawberry and velvet sugar. A strawberry scent with like the velvet sugar from Bath and Body Works. This is really yummy. It smells really good. Really fruity really good. If you guys like velvet sugar and you think you'd want like a bunch of strawberry added to that, yeah, you'd like this one. That one was really nice. I don't, was there one I didn't like yet? I don't think so. Okay, strawberry, pink chiffon, and pink sugar. So that one was strawberry, pink sugar, and velvet sugar mixed together, I believe. And now this one is strawberry, pink chiffon, and pink sugar. Pink sugar, aqualina pink sugar, probably. Yeah. This one is very similar to that last one. This one's really good, you guys. Definitely strawberry. Candy like strawberry. Almost like strawberry bubblegum. Like, not bubblegum, original bubblegum scent mixed with it, but it actually smells like strawberry bubblegum. Pink chiffon and pink sugar. Whatever they use for the pink chiffon or pink sugar or whatever, even the strawberry is really good, you guys. Okay. Strawberry buttercream birthday cake. Wow, this is like, I'm really impressed. cake. Yeah. It's that strawberry. The strawberry is the strongest note in those other two because it's also in this one. It's a it's a really nice like fruity, sugary, syrupy strawberry scent. Not strawberry in like not strawberry syrup in like um like if you were to get an ice cream sundae and they put the strawberries in the syrup, it's different. It's different than that. It's more like Yankee Candles strawberry scent. That like fresh strawberry. The strawberries don't have a really strong scent, so that's what I mean by like the fakey candiness to it. And then you smell butter, uh, buttercream. Buttercream frosting and like white cake. It smells really nice. <laughs> front porch. Now I want to order more. Oh, this is so bad for my wallet, you guys. Serendipity Cucumber Melon Cotton Candy. That is a long title. I don't know what serendipity is. Serendipity has a, is its own scent. I don't think I got it plain. Um, you'll have to look on the website. Oh, wow. I can smell this just... Oh, just pulling it out. Mmm! Okay. Uh, if you like cucumber melon, 
from Bath and Body Works, but like, oh, okay, this kind of smells like watermelon bubblegum. It smells like melon, like watermelon. Ooh, what is this? Cucumber melon? Maybe it's cucumber. serendipity cucumber melon cotton candy. Ooh, how do I describe it? Um, watermelon bubblegum. Again, not that bubblegum scent, but like, Green apple, watermelon, melon, cantaloupe. Oh, that one smells so good. Wowzas. I don't know about cotton candy. Um, I don't know what the serendipity scent is, so you'll have to look on the, the site for that. That one and what kids like, what kids love. Whatever. Those ones I don't know, the, the formula, the mixture of it. Okay, Serendipity Pink Sugar Cookie Marshmallows. You could tell like where I was going with this. I like, uh, I'm like I'm gonna get all the candy scented ones. Everything sweet and sugary I could possibly get. Okay, this one's more creamy. You can definitely smell marshmallow to it. All of these are really strong too. I don't struggle to try and smell them. They're definitely strong. This is like, um, gosh, I wish I knew what the serendipity scent was. This to me would smell like, um, like a marshmallow sugar cookie or marshmallow cotton candy sugar cookie. It's not like a huge sugar cookie scent, but I'm not really good with sugar cookie scents. How do I describe this one? This is probably the hardest to describe because I smell mostly marshmallow. Like a creamy marshmallow sugar cookie with something else that makes it s s even sweeter. But it's like creamy and balances it out. I'm not really sure. That one, that one's hard. That one, uh, it smells really good. I'm not going to be good at describing that one though. Okay. Pink sugar marshmallow. Oops, I just ripped the bag. Mmm. Okay. Yeah, this smells like aquilina pink sugar. Like, I was going to say creamied out. <laughs> Sounds bad. A cream. This smells like aquilina pink sugar with just some marshmallow added to it. To make it more creamy. But mostly pink sugar. Aquilina Pink Sugar Perfume. Yes. Okay. Pink Sugar Cotton Candy Fanatic. You guys. Oh my god. He smells so good. Ah. Okay. What the hell does this smell like? Okay. This doesn't smell like pink sugar or cotton candy to me. Oh man, what does this smell like? Quick. Think, Christy. Crap. Okay, no, I'm setting that one aside. I don't know what that smells like. It smells some like something familiar to me. Um, a Bath and Body Works scent, maybe? Okay, pink sugar blonde moment. Oh, I'm sorry this video is long, you guys. Ooh. What the heck's in that? This is definitely um, not strong on the pink sugar, like Aqualina pink sugar scent. I would guess this is mostly the blonde moment scent if you look on the site and see what's in the blonde moment. It smells really good. Kind of like melony fresh. Mandarin. I'm going to say it's 
Probably mostly that blonde moment scent. I can't remember what's in that one. Really good though. Pink Berry Berry Buttercream. Some of these have broken pieces. You can tell like, like this one and there's like stuff that broke off. Mmm. This is only like a tiny bit of the creaminess. This is mostly like a really yummy candy berry scent. Fruity candy berry, fruity bubble gum, like a berry bubble gum with some buttercream. God, that's good. I can't figure out what it, like the, the berry sugary sweet scent is something that's like from my childhood and I can't remember what it is. If I think of it, I'll link it, like, I'm not link it, I'll list it below if it like comes to my mind because sometimes it takes a while. This next one is orange sherbet bubble gum. Yeah, this smells like, um, like orange sherbet ice cream. And that double bubble scent. Yep. Yep, they, they definitely mixed the two for that one. So that is pretty close on. Mostly the orange sherbet, but you kind of get like that double bubble scent. Okay, honeydew lavender marshmallow. Come on, I'm in a hurry. Ooh. This just goes in a whole different direction. So yeah, this kind of has that like cucumber melon type scent, the honeydew, that like melon mixed with lavender mixed with marshmallow. Like it's a really nice balance of all three. Lavender is not too strong. Lavender and marshmallow alone would smell really good. And then you get this like honeydew that makes it fresh. So it's not only creamy and like relaxing, but then it's also this like melon fresh. This one, yeah, okay. So this is a really nice scent that I feel like I would like my house to smell like. Um, a lot of these smell really, really good. Um, and I could see myself ordering like all of them. <laughs> Again, this one is one that I think I would order in like with like six of because it's a really, really nice. I could see myself wanting to smell that fresh, clean, spring, nice, relaxing, creamy, that scent, just in general, that scent smells really good. All right. Gain Laundry. I don't know what Gain Laundry smells like. I can smell it. Like, as I'm trying to get it out of here. I can smell whiffs of it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. This is the laundry detergent scent. It smells really nice. Yum. Yum as in, like, fresh and clean. Not, like, candy scented. Um, yeah, that smells really good. Okay, so now I know what Gain Laundry smells like. I think a few companies do a scent like that. Dreamy Mellow, 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 like marshmallow. Dreamy Mellow Berry. So I don't know really what would be in this one. Except Berry, Marshmallow, and whatever they would want it to be. Dreamy. Vanilla, Marshmallow. A little bit of Berry. A tiny bit. Um, honestly, this one's really, really good, um, but this is probably my least favorite, just because it's not, like, a huge standout to me. It smells like a lot of other scents. So, Dreamy Mellow Berry, although it smells really good, um, if you're thinking, debating between any of those other scents and this one, choose those other scents, because, well, I mean, depending on what your interests are, I guess. Okay, Dreamsicle. That's probably my least favorite, and I still really like that one. Mmm. Yeah, okay, this is this is pretty close to a dreamsicle scent. It's hard to get that like orange sherbet scent and then like a, a vanilla ice cream. This is the closest thing I've smelled to that. It smells really good. Yeah, that's a that's a winner. Cream soda. This one's red, pink, red. I wouldn't think cream soda. I would think cream soda would be like a like a brown color. 
Oh. This smells like bottle caps. It smells like root beer bottle caps. Root beer or cream soda bottle caps. Just like it has that fizziness to it. Wow. That's impressive. Yum. Not so much uh, cream soda, but definitely root beer and like fizzy, like root beer soda. But like bottle caps. <laughs> if that makes sense. Okay, cotton candy. Mm. This smells really good. I can tell now what they were using in the other ones to make it cotton candy. But to me, I've smelled more like a better cotton candy. This is pretty strong though. Whatever this scent is, like if this was not called cotton candy, I would still really like it. It doesn't smell like cotton candy to me. It might to you, but it still smells really good. But if you're looking for like your perfect cotton candy scent, I don't think that's going to be it. Cotton candy marshmallow. Yeah. This is very similar to that one, except it has the marshmallow. Still pretty strong. It's really nice. But not like... Not like the cotton candy one that was from the um, Smell Goods Etsy seller. That one smelled like just like cotton candy. I don't know where she got her oil from, but it smelled just like cotton candy. Okay, back to this. What the hell is that? Apple. It's apple. Pink sugar cotton candy fanatic smells like apple to me. I like wasn't looking for it, so I, it was hard to figure out what I was smelling. Yeah, it smells like fresh cut apples. Yep. Like fresh cut apple candy. That's weird because it's not, it doesn't smell like pink sugar or cotton candy. That's it's almost like it got labeled wrong. But that's okay. That's it, you guys. Thanks so much for watching. Comment down below what you think about these. If you have ordered any, if you have any questions, you know, thumbs up if this video was helpful or you like it or enjoyed it at all. Um, subscribe if you haven't. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.